What is up you guys, I'm Rito and in this video I'm going to simplify e-commerce for you and this is a new series that I'm starting and we are going to start with the e-commerce funnel in this video. I'm going to break down how the entire e-commerce funnel is constructed and how you can pick pinpoint specific points in your e-commerce funnel to make the best ROI, to make the best profit that you can from your funnel. So let's dive in. Now listen, I know when we talk about e-commerce, we can talk about specifics all day long and technicalities all day long. But what happens is sometimes it is good to actually look at the funnel from above and to see a bird's eye view at how your entire e-commerce business is running. And when you do that, you understand specific points in your funnel that you can optimize and make better to make more profits. That's the end goal of e-commerce to make more money. So let me simplify it down for you. I'll keep it short and quick. I am just about to dive into my computer and show you everything, but I'm running a bit low on energy. I think, I, I think if you hit the like button, it'll, it'll give me energy. Could you just, could you just hit the like button below? Okay, let's start. We have traffic right here. And this can be from any platform. You've got Facebook, Google, Pinterest, so many different traffic platforms exist. Your goal is to find people who can visit our store. And these people are going to end up on our product page. And the product page is going to have something. This is going to be our images. This is going to be the title, the price, an add to cart button, some description. So this is our product page. This is where we describe what our product is, how it can help the person who is buying our product. Then we of course have the cart page. Here we have our product. We also have the price mentioned. We have a checkout button and then we also have some trust elements so that a person can proceed to the next phase which is going to be checkout. Now on the checkout page we have of course all the default fields. If you're using Shopify the checkout page is built out by default. It is optimized and once a person fills out their payment information and stuff they are taken to the thank you page where you can actually not only give information about the product they bought, but also try to sell some more stuff. And then once they become your customer, they are added to your backend where you can then email or you could also SMS them your upsells. Now once, because a person has already bought from you, there is a trust after you've delivered the product or even before you've delivered the product, you could upsell them to buy more stuff and this results in more revenue for you. Simple enough. Now let's try to look at this funnel from 10,000 feet in the air. All right. So what are the things that we can optimize here so that we can max out our ROI, so that we can max our profit. What are the things to look at if you're not getting results? Say you've been trying to send traffic to your you, to your product page, but you're just not getting clicks. Say people are landing up on, on your product page, but they're not adding to cart. Say people are adding to cart, but they're not buying. There are so many ways in which you can then try to look at your data and figure out what you need to be changing. So here's a list of what you need to be looking at. In terms of traffic, what you have to try are audiences, who are the people you're going to show your ad to, the creatives that you use to advertise, it can be images or videos, and of course, the messaging that you are providing in your ads. Not messaging or massaging, it's messaging. Now, these are the three things you have to look at when you're driving traffic. You have to keep testing audiences, creatives, and messaging. Once you find something that works for you, then let's move on to the product page. Now, what we're looking at here are a few things. We're looking at the product images, how we can make them better, the price of the product, which may be driving people away, what about some color schemes or the branding that is done on the, uh, I'm just going to write down branding here, that is done on the store so that the store could be more appealing. And you also have the copy or description that is written on the product page. And this copy is also very important in closing the sale. Now, moving on to the cart page, there's just a couple of things you need to be looking at. One are the upsells. And this is very important because if a person has added a product to their cart, it is actually pretty good to show them an upsell so that they add the product to the cart and they 
end up buying like two items instead of one. So upsells are something that need to be optimized definitely on the cart page. And the other thing that needs to be optimized is the trust factor, maybe adding some uh, credit card logos or, or some testimonial or something that basically make sure a person hits that checkout button. And then you reach the checkout page and here you have to make sure people have the options to buy the product. So if you just have PayPal, well, if a person doesn't want to pay via PayPal, do they have a credit card or debit card payment option? They need to have payment options in order to pay. And of course, here also you could try to increase a little bit of trust by making sure your your color schemes match all across the funnel. Uh, your logo is there on the on the checkout page. Now on the thank you page, what you could try out are a few upsells. And finally, in the back end where you're sending out your emails and SMSs, you could basically try to optimize all the cross sales that you do, all the various other products that you're going to pitch to the customer over the course of the lifetime of the customer, which makes up the LTV or lifetime value of the customer. So this is the entire e com funnel and this is as simplified as, as it can get now what happens guys is when we actually start doing the business we tend to forget how simple this entire funnel is and we try to make things too complicated than they have to be so it is not rocket science to run an e-com funnel and all you have to do is look at where your troubles are inside your funnel optimize it make it better and make more monies i hope that was simple enough for you and it doesn't end here this is just the beginning of the simplifying e-com series that I'm creating. Now, what I plan to do is create multiple videos around this theme where I want to simplify e-commerce for you. If you like that idea, like below also. Got some thoughts about this? Use the comment section below. I will see you next time.